Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are here at Eldora for the last race before the All-Star Race. Remember, four heats, 15 cars in each. Top six from each heat advance. The rest are going to a last chance qualifier. So here we go, Mike Kidney, Ryan Shea in row one, Michael Model Piggy Bowling, Brenda Rogers back with Ace Rogers in row three. This track, it's possible to pass, but it's tough. Who will we see advance? Ten laps here in heat one. Green flag is out here. We are on the way at Eldora. Do you see how much that outside line works here? In turns one and two, Ryan Shea diving to the lead. But then they bounce off the wall, and this is where it always gets good. There you see again, Shea getting now Shea in the wall completely. Pretty much every driver is going to have some scrapes on that right side after today's today is done. Peggy Bowling gets in the wall pretty bad that time. Micah Kidney trying to fight back on Ryan Shea. See a model trying to get by Micah Kidney. Shea gets in the wall a little bit there. That could help out the zero one. one But this dirt here is just so strong. They were thinking of trying to maybe get rid of some of its grip. As right now, sixth place. Whoa, Eric Koala goes way off the wall. And look at this now, battle for second place, Amato, Mike Mellon here. Karen Vieira up to fifth. So you see a huge bounce off the wall, can be very bad. As now Amato will get by Mike Kidney as Kidney hit the wall a bit too much. Karen Vieira still in fifth, Peter Sands up to sixth now. A model with a huge bang off. Dylan Young slams off the wall really hard. That could, I want to say, it almost sealed the deal for Peter Sands. This Brian Shea is just gone. A model bouncing off the wall really hard there. Two laps to go. See some of the drivers in the waiting seats here. As Peter Sands is in that last transfer spot right now. He'll bounce off the wall, but Samudio bounces off pretty hard. White flag out. Ryan Shea just ran away with this heat race. So Ryan Shea to win heat race number one. And Peter Sands will get sixth. So there is your first heat race. We'll see you guys for heat race two. By the way, starting order will be determined by heat race finishing order this weekend. Getting ready for heat number two. And there's something I forgot to mention, guys. For the last chance qualifier, now this track can only hold 29 cars. At this rate, we're going to have 36 drivers. The seven out of the seven drivers that are supposed to head to the LCQ, the bottom, I mean, out of the 36 drivers, the bottom seven. All right, let me reword this as we're green here. So you're in the LCQ, but here's the catch. You have to be high up in points in a way. So the out of the 36 drivers, the lowest 7 in points out of those 36 drivers will not even be in the LZQ. 
<coughs> oh, sorry about that. Because we can only hold 29 cars here. So that is why if you're in that bottom seven, you will not be in the last chance qualifier, which I don't have a sheet with me, so I will have to check after. There will be the last chance qualifier video will definitely be separate. Actually, no, it won't. But I'll announce who was not able to make the cut. Anyway, on the Heat 2 right now, Austin Al's in the lead. Peeler, John Linnaeus, John Harpel, Michael Santos, and James Morton, the top six right now. But Morton getting in the wall really bad here. As, ooh, there's a little scuffle back here between the 43 and some of these guys. Look at Peyton Goodwin running his wildly cherry scheme this week. He just moved up from 12th to 8th. Still three wide now, trying to maybe get by John Linares. Peyton Goodwin might have a good car this weekend. <laughs> He's moving. He wants to get in through the heat. He does not want to have to worry about a last chance qualifier. And as Santos falls back, he has moved up to 6th place. Now he's trying to get by Sean Harpel. And Kate Rogers has moved up to 2nd. Austin Alves pulling away again. we got another puller away. -er. As Peeler's going to bounce off the wall heavily here. And Peyton Goodwin started all the way back in the field. And he has moved up to 3rd. As we watch in the back, Beeson up the fourth now. And with two to go, the battle is on fifth right now. Is Michael Santos, six John Linares. As John flies back by for fifth. Santos in sixth. Beeson comes off the wall hard. Santos goes off the wall hard. Deanna Jones in the sixth place now. Santos trying to fight back hard on that outside line. Here he goes. Last stitch effort. Coming out of turn four. Deanna Jones will hold on and make it. As Austin Alves wins heat two. We'll see you guys for heat three. Welcome back. Getting ready for heat number three, boys and girls. Kerry Davis, Nathan Rogers, Nico Tringali, Kobe Owls, Michael Rogers, Tony Green, the front free rows for this one. Green flag is out. Kerry Davis with a great jump. It's going to slide right up on the A. Whoa. Well, Nathan's got a good run, though. Nathan going to fly by the 74. And I'm sure drivers are really ticked off about that outside groove right there. Kerry Davis not giving up. And Nico Tringali's right there, too. Kerry Davis trying to fly by the 8 car, but the 8 car is just going to get such a good run. Tringali under the 74 now. I'm sorry, that's Zachary Rogers in the 3 car, not Tony Green. Actually, maybe it was. They got two real 3 cars this weekend. Zachary Rogers trying to make it in through the heats. Because he knows, like everyone else, the LCQ will be absolute madness. Side by side, Michael Rogers. Nathan Rogers getting in the wall. Here comes Nico Tringali again. Oh, he almost was able to put up the slide job. And by the way, I forgot about Fox Sports 1. So um, even though it says speed, consider I guess consider this speed's last race as Fox Sports will be coming in. For the uh, main race. Or I should say the LCQ. Meanwhile Nathan's still leading. 
Banging off the wall really hard. There's Zachary Rogers trying to move up to second, maybe take the lead. Still in third, Kerry Davis fourth, Michael Rogers fifth, Logan York sixth, trying to make it into this dirt crazy race. Colby Alves bouncing off the wall really hard there. Jim won the third down low, three wide. <clears throat> Logan York trying to get by the 90 car for fifth. Three laps to go. And Nathan Rogers has not been able to pull away like Austin Alves and Ryan Shea have. By the way, I just wanted to say for those drivers that make it in via the heat races, the starting order will be determined by race speed. Well, as far as the first guys go, the rest will be uh, randomized. White flag is out for these drivers. Nathan Rogers in the lead. Logan York in sixth. Colby Owls messing up, probably screwed up everybody else's shot. So coming through th turns three and four. Logan York will make it with the eight car winning this heat. See you guys for the final heat, heat four. Getting ready for the fourth and final heat here. Allison Rogers, Nick Pericles, Tori Travis, Michael Naylor, Michael Parker, Edwin Mendez. And for some of these drivers, making it through on heats is the goal because, man, you know they're so low on points, they ain't going to make it. One of those drivers would be Edwin Mendez. Mendez has to make it in through the heats because he is just so low on points. As he's trying to get by Tory Travis, as Nick Pericles goes by for the lead. Naylor trying to go by for second. Allison Rogers keeping strong. Mendez getting in the wall a bit there. He'll be the one to fall to sixth place right now. Here comes Michael Cavanero. Oh, and we got a crash. Naylor's around. Tory Travis. That's going to hurt Scott Greeny and Philip Goldberg. And a lot of other drivers. Fourth now is Michael Cavanero. Fifth, Keith Rich. And sixth, Tony Vieira. As now Tory Travis bouncing off the wall hard. And I noticed in the finishing results afterwards that Chloe Baker and Sam Rogers were well behind the rest of their heat field. So they must have had an accident too. As Nick Pericles is fighting strong here with Michael Parker. Keith Rich. Tony Vieira, 5th and 6th right now. Edwin Mendes in seventh, looking on the outs from the outside. Cameron Gadu trying to get by him. Carvalho having some difficulties here this week. Halfway through, Allison Rogers trying to join teammate Michael Rogers. And look at all the side damage that car has. The side of these cars are just torn up. Michael Parker, you see back there, bouncing off wildly on the wall. As we head back there, seeing the racing going on. Tony Vieira still in six. Edwin Mendez trying with all he can to get up here because he knows he will not be high enough. Here comes Cameron Gadu again. Tony Vieira in the wall, big time. This could be Mendez's chance. They'll be coming to two laps to go. This is the chance, opportunity. Edwin Mendez was raiding for. Vieira off the wall. Mendez looking low. Gadu's going to make it three wide. 
Tony Vieira in the wall. Mendes right on him. They'll be coming to the white flag. Was that all the four car head? Here comes Cameron Gadu now battling for sixth. Tony Vieira in the wall big time. Gadu trying to get in. Mendes is too far back. It's down to these two. The season five champ's going to dive it in really good here. Can he get it? Gadu gets it. Gadu just edges out Tony Vieira. And Gadu will be in the main. Tony will have to go to the last chance qualifier. So we will see you guys for the LCQ. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the last chance qualifier. Remember, top five advance. Current top five starting, Chloe Baker, Tony Vieira, Ace Rogers, Andrew Rich, Robert Rogers. Then Eric Harrell is also in row three. Steve Cavallo. I see Carol Morton, Sam Rogers, Tory Travis. Green flags out here. Last chance qualifier. Ooh, Tony Vieira gets in the wall really bad right there. Oh, he bouncing off of Ace Rogers. Oh, they're in the wall. They're going to spin out in front of the field. Oh, that's going to hurt a lot of drivers. That hurt a lot of drivers' chances, and they're bouncing all over the place. Ace is bouncing all over the place. Here's your top five right now. Chloe Baker, Robert Rogers, Steve Cavallo, Andrew Rich, and Peggy Bowling. 15-lap race. Whoa, Robert Rogers way down the track. Look out. These guys know it is time to go, and they are not holding back one bit. They know it's time to go all out. Michael Naylor now the new 5th place driver. Zachary Fitzwater also into the top 5. Chloe Baker is pretty much gone right now. She has nothing to worry about. Peggy Bowling up to 5th now with Naylor's miscue. Oh and Naylor's going to spin it out. That's going to hold up Andrew Rich and Sam Rogers. Adam Rogers slims into the 1. The 9 car into the 1 car. Huge damage for the 9 of Chris Carano and the 1 of Michael Naylor. Both of them are going to go down pit road. Their nights are over. Chloe Baker still leading. Oh, and they slowed up for the pit road cars for whatever reason. And now that's going to make it interesting. Robert Rogers stuck up here. I don't know why they would even do that. Benjamin Tilton just came off pit road from something kind of damage he had. Oh, Baker way off the wall that time. This is crazy, guys. I've... Robert Rogers by into the race lead. Oh, Cavallo just got spun out. Cavallo has gone around. And he was running so good, too. Now Philip Tringali and Tony Vieira are going to spin out. Robert Rogers catching slow car of Scott Greeny. He leads it. And they've got lap cars all over the place. As Robert will lead it. Chloe Baker second. Third, Zachary Fitzwater. James Morton, fourth, and Dylan Young is fifth. That is the top five right now. Robert Rogers has Scott Carini between him and Chloe Baker. Oh, wow, we had some massive lag right there. I think we're going to have to turn the dirt off on this track. Dylan Young still in fifth. Peggy Bowling. Tony Green. Samudio. They're getting. Oh, and they got a car around. James Morton is around. Dylan Young got slowed up. Now Sam Rogers off the wall. Benjamin Dion. K 
Kevin Peel is going to get heavy damage. Robert Rogers still leading, but we couldn't care less about him. Fourth place now, Peggy Bowling. Fifth moves Tony Green. It'll be two to go next time. Bye, and this racing is absolutely insane. Two to go. By the way, what drives we have out? Michael Naylor, Adam Rogers, Chris Caranda. Look at all the drivers' laps down. Tony Green's moved up to fifth. Dylan Young's the only one really fighting with him. White flag is out here. At Eldora, Fitzwater off the 0-2. Gets really loose. Tony Green seems to have fifth place under lock and key. Here we go into the final turns. Coming off turn four, Robert Rogers will win the last chance qualifier. Chloe Baker second, Fitzwater third, Bowling fourth, and Tony Green will come home in fifth. What a crazy race, guys, and I can't wait to see this main. Get ready for the Arctic Cat 500, boys and girls.